Hello and welcome. I have a handbag tag video for you today. This is a luxury handbag tag video created by Chic Professor. I will link her original video below so you can take a look at that. If you don't know Jessica, who is Chic Professor, she's literally a professor and she talks about fashion. She talks about getting dressed for work, what to wear to work. It's usually business fashion that she's talking about on her channel. And she created this interesting tag. The tag is called the bag that represents me tag, or maybe the bag that best represents me tag. This is an interesting take on looking at bags, and it did cause me to have to stop and think. I do have a lot of bags. I have a lot of bags from Chanel and Louis Vuitton and some brands you will have heard of, and also from some brands you won't have heard of. As a jewelry designer myself, I really love design and I love looking at design, and it doesn't have to be a big name to get me interested. And also, there are some names that are big in other countries that aren't big here. In looking at my collection, there were a lot of bags that represented a part of me, you know, maybe a business part or a fun part or, or you know, different aspects of my personality. And it was interesting to try to come up with just one bag, but I think that I have done it. And the bag that I have chosen is this one. This is a Shiatsu Chen bag. It is a leather bag, a fine leather bag with a jade handle. And this is Shiatsu Chen's trademark. Not all of her bags have a jade handle, but a lot of them do. And I, I personally wouldn't get her bag without the jade handle because I do think that it is her signature design element that I like the best. Actually, there are some though that have a jade twist. I would maybe do that. But for me, for it to be a Shiatsu Chen bag, it would need to have jade on the bag. It's one of the things that I like about it. Xiaozi Chen is a Taiwanese designer. I did discover her while I was traveling in Taiwan. I have been to her stores in Kaohsiung, which is where I was visiting, which is down south, and in Taipei, which is up north. You take the bullet train, or I took the bullet train up north. And I've also been to her stores in Macau and Hong Kong. The only Western store that I know of is in Paris, and I have been to that store. She's very well known throughout Asia and is not as well known in the US or even Europe. In addition to her bags, I have some of her clothing. I think that I have done a video of my Shiatsu Chen collection. If I have, I'll put it up here. I'm not 100% sure I have, but I think I did. I think I remember doing that. And the clothing is interesting as well. It's silks and there's a lot of embroidery. Some of the bags have embroidery on them, and I do have a bag like that. I almost went for that one, but I do think that this one represents me more. And here's why. First of all, it's pretty classic. It is, you know, it sort of lo looks like Girl Next Door. I kind of look like the Girl Next Door. You know, it's, it's relatively classic. Not a lot of big surprises in the way that it looks, but it does does have this rich color and this jade handle, so it has a couple of indicators that it is something special. Of course, it's also a little gemmy, as am I, as a jewelry designer. It is exotic, though. You don't see it right away, but it is exotic. It does come from the Far East, and it represents to me my travels and my love for other cultures, my willingness to travel, and that I'm not always exactly what I appear to be. There are some surprises about me, too. But I don't think that when I walk around Raleigh, North Carolina, people people recognize this as an Asian designer's bag. Another way that it represents me is that it's quiet luxe. It's very, very luxe. This is a very luxe bag, but it is not flashy. It is not in your face. It doesn't have logos. It's not trying to get your attention necessarily. It has a quietness about it that I enjoy. The other reason that this bag represents me is that it is sentimental, and I am sort of a sentimental person. This is sentimental for a number of reasons. It does represent the first time that I traveled internationally on my own. I went to Asia on my own. I was visiting someone there for part of the trip, but I did make the trip on my own and it was an adventure and I'm glad that I did that. So when I think about this bag and I look at this bag, I remember that I took the initiative to do that. The other way that it is sentimental to me is that when my son, who is an adult now, looks at my closet, looks at my handbag closet, he says that this is the bag that he remembers me carrying the most when he was a child. So when he pictures me being with him, going about town, this is the bag that he remembers. So it's sentimental to him in that way, which means makes it sentimental to me as well. I just took the stuffing out of this bag to give you a little better view of it. Here it is from the front, the side. Ooh, it doesn't quite fit in here. The back, the other side. Here's the top here of this handle and 
the bottom of the bag. It's just, a, it's a hobo bag that's just very easy to carry. Um, it's easy to carry over your shoulder or just like this or in your hand. It's just an easy bag to use. It goes with just about everything, but it has a quiet richness that I very much enjoy. It is now time for me to tag a few people. I tag Autumn Beckman, Bobster92, Yoda Style, Be Fabulous With Me, Irene, Lily LV, Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover, Cat L, Life of MC, Me Likey 2, Oksana LV, A Heated Mess, Sabina from Apple City, Madam MM Style Icon, Yoshi Lux, and Andre. Also, I tag you. If you haven't been tagged and you would like to do this video, I tag you as well. I am fine jewelry designer Jill Maurer and I love taking the intimidation and the mystique out of buying and wearing fine jewelry. I also talk a lot about design, including luxury design. If all of that sounds interesting to you, please do subscribe. I would love to see you here again. Until then.